everyone, Frank and Sarah here. We are on the road again. We are. Yep, and it's a very special trip because uh, coming up is our three year anniversary. Our wedding anniversary. Yes, our wedding anniversary. So um, it's actually not gonna be during this trip. It's like a day or two after we're done with this trip, but we're celebrating it with this trip. And as you could see by the statue behind us with- uh, Luis so Jimenez. <laughs> that we are we're walking over into Mexico right now and we're he heading over to Monterrey. So Monterrey, Mexico. Okay, so we're not actually walking over there. We're, we're walking the border. We're walking over the border and then we're going <laughs> to go to the airport. airport and we're going to fly to Monterrey. <laughs> That'd be a fun adventure. <laughs> no, yeah, so we're on the way to Monterey. Yeah, so um, if you watch any of our previous videos, uh, you'll notice that we always walk across the um, the, the border crossing. The CBX. The CBX, uh, which is actually starts on the U.S. side, and then you buy a ticket to go across, across the border, and it takes you straight into the airport. This time, we're actually doing it a little bit differently. Uh, we are parked at the Otay Mesa um, border, and we're walking across the border, grabbing like a taxi Uber to take us to the airport. So instead of taking the um, the the CBX, which takes us directly to the airport, we're just gonna drive ourselves over there. Yep. So this is gonna be a little bit different this time. So just kind of show you like the different ways you can cross the border and get to the airport. So yeah. Just across the border, there was, I don't know just because it's a Thursday, but there's like nobody there. Walk right through, pretty easy. Uh, of course, no cameras allowed during the time, through the customs, so of course, through immigration. Um, they give you like a little piece of paper for it to fill out, just like you do at um, through the CBX crossing. Um, you go up and then they stamp it, and then you go. Um, and then as soon as you cross, somebody's gonna be there asking you one taxi, and here we are with our taxi driver. Um, he quoted us twelve dollars, uh, two hundred forty pesos to go to the airport, which isn't too bad. So we're on the airport now. The CBX would be $16 each person one way to take it across. And if you park at CBX, it's about $20 to $30 now. The price is going up. So we decided to try something different. Yeah. That's how you keep life interesting. Yeah, gotcha. mm -hmm. We gotta try different things. Right. We've actually done this once before, um, a few years ago. Uh, but they actually changed a lot of things. They had a whole new like immigration area. Airport. Okay, was that easy? Now we are in the airport. Um, I see from the time we parked to, to we're here, it was about five minutes, it's like a five minute ride. But yeah, but um, from our car, like walking across with the immigration, uh, maybe 15 20 minutes. Yeah, not too bad. So it's pretty painless. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'd say it's pretty comparable to the bridge. Yeah, I mean, especially today since there was like nobody um, at the crossing. So the only inconvenient thing is you get a taxi, which wasn't yeah. that bad. It wasn't that bad. I mean, he was he was the first guy and we didn't want to fight and haggle with people, so 12 bucks, let's just go. Yeah. So now we're at the airport. And we're gonna head to the Priority Pass, and if you're ever in the, the Priority tier, Pass Lounge. Priority Pass Lounge, the VIP Lounge, it's called here. So if you're ever uh, wondering where it is, we're gonna show you how to get there right now. Yeah, so you walk in to the, um, you get dropped off at the, at the curb, you walk in, as soon as you walk in, you look for a Carl's Jr. Yeah. On your left. It's in between a Carl's Jr. and a Mexican restaurant. Right, and then, yeah. I'll show you. Good morning. It's morning. We are doing our Frank and Sarah arriving in the airport shot. So we just arrived a little while ago. We got some coffee, uh, about two and a half hour flight. And I slept a lot of it. It is 6 a.m. We're in Monterey, Mexico. Um, our flight was delayed for about an hour or so. The uh, flight wasn't too bad, it was a little rough, but yeah, overall it wasn't too bad. So we got done taking a little nap earlier, and now we are getting a bite to eat before we head into the Porque Fundidora. Uh, the Porque Fundidora is a giant. Park complex has like a convention center, 
has a Sesame Street amusement park for kids, it has a couple museums and a lot of uh, stuff going on there. So we're going to check that out. Of course, we need some food. So we are eating uh, at some little restaurant we passed by. So we got a little uh, combo set meal. So we got. Uh, we each got Sarah so got I got tacos. I'm not even sure what kind of tacos they are because I'm not familiar with what they're called. And this is uh, they give you consomme. Uh, and all I ever had consomme. It's like soup with rice and vegetables in it. This is the uh, steel museum, and we went to the climb to the top. So you take like this little elevator cart thing all the way to the tippy top, and you can see pretty much all the city. You can see the park, you can see the mountains, you can see the buildings. It's a pretty great view. Pretty, pretty city. It's less, uh, I guess, it's not historical. It's less, uh... like, it doesn't look like a colonial, like. Mexican city looks yeah, very modern. Very modern. Pretty cool. The mountains are huge though. They're yeah, like they're really big. Giant, like right next to us. Yeah, this whole, on the top, all the green, all the park area was all originally like owned by the foundry. And this is like oven three, 103. So I'm assuming there were more than this one. 
Uh, but this is one they they restored and they use it as a museum. And it's five bucks to get in, 100 pesos. Uh, worth it, I think. Yeah, there's like th three different, two or three different shows. Yeah. You just go through, walk through. You can get a guy, you don't get a guy, and we didn't get one. Um, you get to go in um, the, at 1 p.m. here. I don't know if it's every day at 1 p.m., but today it's 1 p.m. They have like the big uh, show inside. And you actually go in, you see how the furnace works, and then they actually go inside of the furnace. And it's the only furnace in uh, America, like North and South America, you can go actually inside of. It's pretty cool. Yeah. If you get a clear day, come out to the Fundidora. Like today, it's Parque today's, Fundidora. Today's, today's pretty clear. We saw the mountains. I was hoping we could go like up there, but I think this is the end of the line. I actually thought we were climbing like the stairs. I like stairs, me too. But, we're, but no, we rode a cart up here. <laughs> yeah.